Good morning, everyone. This is your Hall of Famer, Director Marlon Green, urging you to stay positive in a world that's mostly negative. The mainstream media is mostly negative. Forget them. I have your attention now. Pay attention. If you don't like me, it's cool, okay? You're just insecure, and I look and feel better than your many boyfriends or your husband. So quit trying to act like I'm not hot when you're using me to get shit from other guys, okay? Uh, black women, you need to spend more time helping your black men because you spend too much time trying to look good and most of you all ain't shit. You don't cook, you don't clean, you don't communicate. All you do is complain, and uh, all you do is show favoritism to other cultures and not your own. You're the only woman on the planet that does that, and you're the cause of many of your own problems. So quit trying to blame guys, okay? Uh, yeah, Houston is having a flooding problem because of a couple of things. One is for climate change. Americans in particular, our president, needs to take climate change more seriously, okay? And uh, you black bitches know how it is to go through a hurricane in Louisiana. Now it's in Texas. It's bought by a couple of things. It's bought by negative people. It's bought by climate change. And it's bought by uh, uh, Mother Nature from ignoring her and her warnings, okay? Uh, you black bitches need to get your shit together because times are changing and you don't even recognize it. The United States has been threatened with a nuclear attack. And y'all are just going around like business as usual. This goes to show you, you should never be in charge of the household because men are much more knowledgeable on more subjects than you are. So if you're in charge of the home, stay satisfied because in most cases, you're not able, you're not equipped to handle most worldwide crises or understanding. You can't even get or understand the situations on reparations. So I don't know why the white folks let y'all on television talking about all kinds of things that uh, that uh, you don't qualify for and you're used to that. Show us more respect because y'all respect people like George Bush and Barack Obama more even though they don't do shit for you, okay? Show us more respect because I'm more accomplished than those guys and you, all you all are looking for is an easy life when life is not easy, which makes you lazy. You will spend hours and hours in the gym, hours and hours in the salon, hours and hours on the beach to attract guys and y'all ain't shit. It's more of you all and get your way with us men and there are less of us which makes you dogs you bitches need to get your head out your ass and serve the men more because it's more of you than us and you still get to gouge us and get what you want which is almost ridiculously demonic y'all need to get y'all shit together uh the real show that ain't shit this is the real man's show, and I don't have a publicist, and I don't have a special interest group telling me what to say. So you black bitches should start finding a way to respect us more and not less. And yes, I have a few trolls that's stalking my YouTube, hanging around just to give me thumbs down. But let me tell you something about these bitches. They are only a couple of people making multiple profiles thumbs down in me trying to hang around me with that negative energy get the fuck from around me 
because I'm positive and I have a lot of things going. And you white girls think you're just going to just attach yourselves to me when I get money. You have another thought coming. You have to fuck with me now. And I want to tell you Asians, quit being insecure on a global level. Quit being insecure on a personal level because that's going to be your downfall. I'm instructing people like J-Lo and all of these other dance groups and all of these other cultural groups. They have to respect us evenly because if J-Lo is letting other cultures disrespect us and she's showing more culture or more respect to other cultures, she need to get her shit together too because hip hop culture is the mainstream culture of communication today. And if you're not recognize it, you're just in denial. And if you respect that, you have to respect the people. There are not going to be some uneven or, or inconsistent cultural exchanges. Uh, Asia have 15 to 1 in female ratio. They are using them to take over the world. Y'all should let some of these girls go. And I know some of you all's bad habits that we don't have. And I'm an honorable, handsome African American, so quit telling your women not to deal with me because you're a sinner to deal with these white guys who are less accomplished and less attractive. So get your head out your asses too and start showing a nigga some respect on a global scale because. The old school leaders, we about to get rid of them. They are the most dysfunctional, fucked up, favoritism type guys in history. Obama is from that generation. He's a compulsive liar. And you all love him. You all love lies. And you all love the father of lies because he ain't shit. Stop blaming African Americans for everything, okay? And uh, that's pretty much here it for now. I will be keeping you updated on the latest leadership situations. And I have sent my pardon to the president's uh, the president's address. I have requested that my pardon go through the attorney general. And be sent to the president to be signed my pardon because he's being tested. If he can pardon a sheriff that had problems on the job, then he can surely pardon a U.S. Army Airborne veteran that's in the Hall of Fame that he is taking ideas from and getting gains. He should be able to sign my pardon just as fast as he signed that sheriff's pardon that was convicted of a felony. I was convicted of a felony for sticking up for administrative rights. I've been doing administrative inquiry for inquiries for over 20 years, and this is what I need to get things done. I was sent to federal prison for making an administrative inquiry in the housing discrimination situations and I was lied on and sent to federal prison for false flag trespassing charges. Oh, and by the way, I had to put a restraining order on a couple of police officers and a couple of VA personnel for fraudulently selling my information, sharing my information, and abusing my civil rights. And so if you want to change things, you have to work with the resources that you have and no one can call me a rat because I have tried to solve the problem on a personal level before I added or before I included anyone else, any law enforcement, any mediation, any kind of consistent mediation at all and they all just screwed it up. You black bitches need to get your head out your ass because your days of sugar and cream is coming to an end very fast and you will take a picture with white girls in the in the bed with you showing their ass 
and you can show your nice legs, but you can't take a picture with a real stand up guy and you use these other guys with lesser stature, with lesser intelligence, you use them up even though there are more of you than us. You bitches need to get your heads out your ass and serve me because you'll be fulfilling your life purpose. Serve others, you're just fucking up your life purpose and you need to get your heads out your ass because I went against everybody, baby. No matter what the race is.